Oilers have three preseason games remaining. The team also has three goalies in camp and, of course, only two jobs. Coach Todd McClellan hasn't yet decided how he will handle the starts this week, so the goalies really don't know the next time they get to make an impression. Quinn Phillips has more on the battle between the pipes. Even with NHL jobs on the line, the Oilers' three goalies say they share a team-first attitude. We're all on the same page. We all get along. We all understand what's going on. Um, you know, and we, no one's out there hogging the net or trying to you know, kick in uh, holes in the crease when they leave or anything. They're two great guys and uh, uh, Swartzy, the goal coach, is a great guy too. So I think we, we have a lot of fun on the ice and we're, we're competing and we, uh, we're pushing each other and uh, I think all of us is making each other better. Cam Talbot and Anders Nielsen were added to the mix in the offseason. Nielsen comes in from the KHL. He went overseas because he wanted more games. I also wanted to find a consistent level in my game that I thought I struggled with a little bit when I we're with the Islanders, so I, and I think I found it last year, so hopefully I can build on that and continue. Talbot comes from the New York Rangers, a top candidate for the number one job. He feels consecutive starts when Henrik Lundqvist was injured last season gave him the chance to grow into a number one. Maybe halfway through that, and once we, I started to build off, off some wins and put up some good numbers, uh, and you start to feel good with, with that starting workload, and I think that uh, that was kind of the moment where I, where I realized that maybe that's something that I could be able to take on later on. With just three preseason games remaining, there's not a lot of time left to make an impression. So you got to make sure that when you're in the net, you're uh, um, you're coming in and you're ready to go, and uh, you're getting the most that you can out of it. And um, you know, when you're not in the net, uh, you're supportive. You're uh, you're a good teammate. It's hard in practice because we're trying to implement some structure, and the goaltenders often get abused a little bit when it comes to that. Whether it's you know, free attack or uh, maybe not getting the, the amount of reps that they need. So really tough to be a goaltender at this time of the year. Quinn Phillips, Global Sports.